Hey everybody, how's it going? It's your man here, Kater85, and I am back for another installment of my Let's Play Pokemon Insurgents. And today, you guys, we are back and we're better than ever. We're going to continue on in our journey through the Tauren region. And I hope that you guys are hyped because I am every single time I go to record this game because it's such a good game. But with that out of the way, out of the way, excuse me, let's go ahead and take a quick look at our squad. Um, first up, we have Bruce, our Squirtle, Delta Squirtle, in fact, with Tackle Tail Whip, Bite, and Withdraw. And next we have Gaia, level 11, our Delta Snorlax with Absorb, Roto, Tiller, and Growth. And we have two other mods just because I can't have them. You know what? That's, that's the only reason. I do know that we got smacked up by this trainer in the last episode. So we're going to try to avoid him. Probably come back later because his Pokemon countered ours. But you know what? I'm okay with that. We're definitely going to uh, take this guy out. Uh, hopefully. You'd expect us to. Rune Maniac Mark with his little Machop. Um, we do have Bruce, which is kind of a mismatch uh, in Machop's favor. But you know what? We're going to... Never mind. I was like, okay, yeah, we can definitely go ahead and try, but nope. Just kidding, because Machop smacks us up. Like, actually, it really does. Um, Let's go ahead and absorb, though. It does a decent amount of damage. Not too much, but, you know, just enough to where... We'll be able to take it out sooner versus later. Actually, I do have a speed up button, so I might as well use it, you know? You know that? There we go. Nice experience right there. Torment. Um, Squirtle wants to learn here. Um, I mean, we might as well get rid of Tail Whip. I don't really see myself using Tail Whip all too often. Um, Tor Torment might just be that strategic move that we use once in a while. Anyways, just, anyways Jesus Christ, can I talk? Jigglypuff is going to be the next one, and we're going to keep Gaia in, uh, because, you know, oh god, this is going to be bad, um, we're going to do this, alright, actually, that's interesting, I thought Rototiller just boosted grass type moves, but whatever, and I keep, <laughs> I don't mean to do this, you guys, I hope you know that, I meant to click absorb, look at how much more damage that does, Look at that. Look at... That's a lot of damage <laughs> right there. All right. So, uh, Ruin, Mr. Ruin Maniac Mark is down for the count. We might as well heal up uh, here. Eight potions. Uh, so, there we go. Let's go ahead and heal both of us up. Jesus Christ. Gaia has 64 HP. That's quite a bit, don't you think? You know, I would uh, say, but who knows? Who knows? Um, let's go ahead here. We can finally use this thing. Like, well, <laughs> finally. Luckily, the hypnosis missed, and we're going to be able to take this thing out with the bite. As Krabby is going to be the next mon in, we will also be able to uh, take this thing out. <laughs> but it's got double... It's got reflect... And harden up. I'm definitely gonna switch out into Gaia because otherwise this battle will go on forever, and we don't need that. Oh, of course, reflect fades right at that point. Okay, I d what? Why was it on Rototiller and not Absorb? Can I just ask that? Can I literally just ask that? Whatever. It don't matter. We got this thing, and Lady Lana is down for the count. Uh, let me just check. All right. Our HP looks pretty good IMO. So let's go ahead continue on here. We do have this little extra area, dark cave. Um, however, I'm going to wait until we get to town, the town area, uh, before you do any of that extra stuff. It looks like we do have... Oh, do we not? Hmm. Say, young one, would you like to trade Pokemon? One Pokemon I'm really looking for is Totodile, but I can't find one anywhere. I'll trade you my rarest Pokemon for one. 
Okay. I bel I'm going to take a random guess and say that he um he probably trades you a Delta Pokemon. And I do believe you can also find Totodile on the next route after the town. So we'll see um how that works out. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and just bite the crap out of this thing. And we flinched. We got three flinches in a row and we flinched this thing out. All right. Weasel's the next Mon in. We're going to send in Gaia. And uh, absorb it. Why is... Okay, can somebody please tell me why it doesn't reset to absorb? Like, I put... I made games on RMXP, and I'm pretty sure it usually does. Whatever. Uh, let's see here. Okay, both of our mods are level 13 now. I'm um, real quick here. Let's see, what do I want to do? Hmm. See, the thing is, I don't know if I want to use Gaia just yet, but I'm going to use him anyway. Bugcatcher's not really a good uh, trainer for us to be facing as of right now, though, just because, well, you know, just obviously, <laughs> it's really not good. Anyways, there's a kid somewhere around here that wanted to trade Pokemon. If only I could find her, I heard she had something rare. Interesting, we'll have to take a look at that as well. I used to participate in the Pokemon races over in Sonata City. It's a really difficult skill to master, but I was among the best. Alright. Midna Town is connected to both Suntouch City and Nara Town. To get to Suntouch, you just leave to the west. To get to Nara, you need to be able to climb rocks. <laughs> really. Alright. Let's see who's in here. We came far away from the Johto region back in those days. We only we only just discovered Dark and Steel types. It's incredible how far we've come since then. I know I'm Haunter. Interesting. Um, would you like to trade Pokemon? I'll trade you my glass ghastly for say a Durant or Heatmore. Either one works. Unfortunately I don't have that, but I'm I don't know. I'm just making assumptions here. This isn't a hundred percent, but I'm guessing that that ghastly might come with the Gengarite, but who knows? Um Okay, yeah, he doesn't really have much to say. But we do find ourselves a great ball right there. I'm sorry, I'm really tired. Um, we might as well heal up our mons right here real quick. Um, let's see um, how this works. Um, I might as well just speed it up a little bit. Um, no, it isn't. Okay, why do you have to keep say saying this to me? Nobody cares. Alright, what are you? You're probably the one random person. Um, actually there is somebody in Helio City who will let you create your own moves. I'm not going to tell anyone that, but, you know, <laughs> get it? Ha 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 ha. So about uh, how weak he was and how great the second. Okay, very funny. I'm not about to do that. What, what, what do you have to say? Captain Obvious here. Or... Yeah, you can, you can still be a captain. You're female, right? I think so. <laughs> oh my god. How do you get a Pikachu onto a bus, you Pokemon? <laughs> You're so funny. Alright, nobody cares, actually. Alright, it's incredible all the clothes you can buy in the Tauren region. I got this fancy beret from the Suntouch City Pokemon. Interesting. You know... If you're looking to make some pocket change, I heard someone in the broadcast tower in Suntouch City is looking for trainers. Actually, I heard that as well. Whoa, okay, sweet. We'll take that. The Floatzel is holding leftovers. And I know a mon that can really benefit for, from some leftovers. You know? And its name is Gaia. And, yeah. That'll help out quite a bit, I'm gonna guess. Uh, what do you have to say? Electrode is the third fastest non-mega and non-legendary Pokemon. That always surprises me. How do, does it roll around so quickly? You know, I actually, fun fact, back in Heart Gold, you know when you had the Pokeathlon, like the marathon thingy? Um, 
I actually used Electrode. And you know that, like, dash thing? I was literally unstoppable in that dash thing. I always won. Like, I was so good at it. I'm pretty sure I probably broke my DS screen, probably trying to hit the dang thing so hard. But you know what? It don't matter. I was really good at it. <laughs> Shows how much time I put into that kind of stuff back in the day. Anyways, I've been... Yes, dude. I've been doing some research into Delta Pokemon. They're a rare variety of Pokemon with different types, abilities, and movesets than normal. They seem to appear in the wild from time to time, but they're more often created by scientists. I wish I could see one for myself. Hey, do you, do you see this thing right here, dude? Yeah, I, I got two of them actually in my party. A lot of the entries in the Pokedex seem like complete rubbish. No way, Macargo's body temperature is hotter than the surface of the sun. Uh, how? Uh, I don't know. Is it though? Who knows? The world may never know. Would you like to trade Pokemon? I'll trade you my Elekid for any bug type Pokemon. I'm pretty sure you can get bug type Pokemon in Route 1. So, uh. That's pretty interesting. This is a statue of the second auger. He's a hero. After the first auger disappeared, he's been fighting the cults and keeping the region safe. They say he rode on our. Okay. Interesting. I'm a trainer with a great track record. I won. I've won one out of every 10 games, but I swear the ones I've lost were only because my opponents cheated. Toxic. Toxic. He's toxic. Or she. Whatever. It is toxic. AKA. See us going over. Watch combined. No, I'm just kidding. I've heard um, that CS goes more toxic than Overwatch. And if you have been paying attention to my channel as of late, um, you know that I am uploading Overwatch VODs. So, my thing is. How toxic are people in CSGO? Because there are really toxic people in Overwatch. Let me say that. Um, Alright. I'm gonna not say anything here. Um, because uh, you never know when you're gonna need them and if you already decide which one you want then you might not get the other two which is unfortunate anyways i heard orion the leader of sun touch city's a total weirdo he talks to rocks and still has an imaginary friend sounds pretty weird doesn't it doesn't it actually i didn't i saw this great ball earlier and i wasn't going to try and get it because I thought, oh, you'd have to surf, but I guess not. Anyways, what's up here? I'm going to win the next trainer school tournament. I just know it. I've been practicing for so long. Cool. Maybe you will. Maybe you won't. Who? Oh, okay. Hi there. <laughs> Where is that girl? Where could she have gone off now? We can't start without her. Um, hello? Hi. What do you have to say for yourself? I had an Eevee for my starter Pokemon. Alright, interesting. I might be older than all the other kids in here, but I'm still determined to learn. Anyways, you can't be too old for Pokemon. Maybe. Who knows? Actually, that's probably a good thing to put that. Uh, sorry, I don't know you. I'm only close to the cooler kids here. Dude, all these people look dumb. They're like stupid. And if you hang around them, then you're dumb too. <laughs> and <stu> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just say like, <laughs> you're probably dumb if you think you're cool. No, I'm just kidding. But whatever. <clears throat> Actually, I just just want to warn you guys this right now. Obviously, I know this is just a random voice line, but obviously, I'll do as I'll do his voice. Uh, but I have a sore throat, so if any of my voices are bad, I'm sorry. Anyways. Oh, dude, I'm so glad you can make it. Hey, you should participate in the tournament. It'll be a great way to improve our skills. Alright, nobody cares. <laughs> Why, hello there. Actually, I should probably do, like, a female voice since she's somewhat of an important character, I guess. She's a teacher. 
Welcome to the Midnight to Towns Trainer School. I'm the teacher here. I'm hoping to raise young boys and girls to become expert battlers and even better citizens. If you take classes here, I'll be happy to teach you what I know. Would you like me to sign you up? Great, I'll be glad to teach you. We're actually just about to start a tournament between our students. If you want to join, it would be a great way to practice and improve. Unfortunately, one of our students, Nora, seems to have gone missing. We can't start the tournament without her, so I'm afraid you'll have to wait. Um, okay. So I was <laughs> hitting the wrong key, and uh, I was like, why am I not moving? All right. Anyways, with that out of the way now, obviously we're supposed to go look for Nora, but we can go back. Um... Because there was that area that we didn't go to. Um, and I think we'll go to it right now. Because uh, why not? Okay, whoops. Another thing is that I would like to catch a bug type. Um, so we can trade. I guess I will battle this guy. If we get completely destroyed by him, I don't know what to tell you. But if we don't, then good for us, right? Oh my god, poison powder. Here we go. At least it doesn't seem to have a bug type move, which is nice. Although we're probably gonna actually no, we'll level up first. Um, and Spinarax is gonna be the next one in. Uh, we'll send in Gaia here. Um, we'll probably have to go right back to the Pokemon Center after this. Uh, but we actually did get Bulldoze, and that's a fairly powerful move, as you can see. Um, I don't even think it was super effective, and it did that much damage. Um, but. There we go, down goes the Spinarak, and Gaia with this move can pretty much destroy anybody in its path. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, Bruce did survive the poisoning, but he is at 1 HP, so we will definitely um, heal up our Mons here, and go right back. So I believe the only trainer we haven't fought on Route 1 was the beginning trainer. And maybe when we add another Pokemon to our team, we'll be able to do that. Now, I don't know when that will happen. Maybe it'll happen in this episode. We don't know. Um, I do know that I'm pretty sure there's a Delta Pokemon in here. I don't, I think you might have to like dive in the middle of the thing for it. Um, obviously we don't have that. Um, I was just running around just to see you know what we can do? Oh, never mind. Abra outspeeds me. I was going to try and bite that thing and see if I could get some nice, easy experience. Uh, but we are in Midna Garden. Um, it's not really... It's. I mean, it's just a little area. If you can see that right there, that's something for later in the game, that Manaphy statue. Um, but anyways, there's a hidden grotto around here somewhere. It's a little passageway that digs through the trees. Sometimes they'll have Pokemon or items at the end. I heard you can find them by looking for dark patches, but I can't seem to find any. Well, that's unfortunate for you. Too bad that I've played this game before and I know where it is. Have you ever visited the trainer school in Midnight Town? They host tournaments to help young trainers learn to battle. Sometimes they even give out prizes. One of the people there, Nora, has won pretty much every tournament. You should try it. Maybe you'll beat her. Interesting. And Nora's the person that we do have to look for as they just said many of the citizens of minuton like to rest here with their pokemon it's a beautiful place to stay actually it's pretty cool <laughs> it's a badoof haha <laughs> that's so cute would you like me to heal your pokemon actually i could have gone here but whatever and badoof is blocking the hidden grotto so if you can see here i might as well put my mouse on it because i can so you see this little dark patch right here um, that signifies the hidden grotto. So yeah, I know I was, I literally just broke the fourth wall, but <laughs> who cares? Like, did you think I was playing this on a 3DS? I don't have a capture card. Okay, and it looks like we do actually have a Pokemon to catch. And I might as well, uh, catch it. Um, just because it's probably a high enough level or something when we can maybe even use it on the team. But as of right now, I'm pretty sure that guy is... <laughs> time so many times better than this thing um but it looks like i don't really want to bite it because obviously um obviously uh well what am i trying to say 
I'm sorry, I can't. Oh, Bulldoze is just too good on uh, Serenal Access of right now. Anyways, let's go ahead and use a Pokeball. Let's see if we can catch this Execute. Um, if not, it's okay. It's only just an execute. I'm sure there are probably rare Pokemon that appear in this grotto. But look at that. We have got ourselves an execute, which is just fantastic. There we go. And uh, execute's data is going to be added to the Pokedex. So, there we go. It consists of six eggs and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And we're not going to give a nickname to you just because I don't really find that, um that important to do with Pokemon that you're not going to use on your team. Obviously, if you're doing a Nuzlocke or something of the sort, then probably uh, go ahead. <laughs> Obviously, you have to, I guess, technically, if it's a Nuzlocke. Um, that's besides the fact. Let's go ahead. Did we actually not run into a single Pokemon there? All right, let's go ahead. <laughs> okay, well, of course, the grass that I don't have to run into... I get a wild encounter. All right, let's go ahead and run through here. And we're back in Midna Town. And, of course, we took damage from the one little thing that we did with Blitzel. And the grass that we didn't even have to run through. But it's fine. You know what? All is well. Because we can now go search for Nora. Now, we could obviously... Bef well, not obviously. I'm sure for those of you who haven't um, played this game before. But we could could have gone to search for her. that entire area that we just went to was entirely optional but i do happen to know that that hidden grotto is not even always a pokemon sometimes it's just an item but it can also be other pokemon other than execute and i think one of them is in fact riolu so maybe you guys might want to check that out but that's besides the fact and let's go ahead and uh get into this cave hopefully we can evolve squirtle in this cave i think that'd be nice um of course i will be um playing playing battling all the trainers and it looks like that this one right now is not the one for us um as he's gonna abide so i might as well just growth um just to you know build up our attack and I should probably just be bulldozing because look at how much damage that does literally it's too good all right Krikatot's gonna be the next one in and yet again it's good against Bruce which is unfortunate uh, well, let's go ahead bulldoze it isn't very effective um but you know what it's okay now the question is okay good we are able to take out the Krikatot there and we are level 14 ourselves on Gaia so now Chikorita is coming in let's go ahead send out Bruce and uh, hopefully bite this thing to death if we actually flinch this thing out yet again no not all the way but we did get it twice and I'm definitely not gonna complain about that but there we go down goes that uh, battle right there oh there is an escape rope I do want to snag that before we do anything else yes there are wild Pokemon in this cave i don't know why they aren't appearing but i'm sure as soon as i say that we'll find a few as there we go all right shuckle is actually a bug type so i am gonna try and catch this uh solely because it's actually a bug type <laughs> not because it's a cool pokemon obviously it is um but as you can see we're not doing that much damage but rollout is gonna start doing some damage to us but yeah okay with the berry definitely it should be able to uh take one more can we get it to take one more okay we'll take that and i'm just not gonna mess around let's go ahead throw out a great ball so i know there is actually three trades um but interesting let's go ahead level 15 is pretty good and uh we're not gonna give a nickname to shuckle but i do want to go ahead um okay there's a zubat please let me run all right there we go so let's go out here we're back in midnight town we're gonna go ahead and do this trade um because i don't know i i feel like 
getting a new mod onto the team is good. Now, I don't exactly remember which one it is, because I know this dude wanted to trade. No, never mind. <laughs> uh, but I know uh, that this hiker dude up here wanted to. Um, say, young one, would you like to trade Pokemon? The one Pokemon I'm really looking for. Okay, this guy is the Totodile. So, that's not him. Um, okay, we just ran through all of that grass and didn't get any Pokemon. Alrighty then. I'm just determined to find... Is it you that you were looking for? No, okay. Okay, so there were... I know there were two people in here who wanted to trade. Was it you, my friend? Um, so no, not you. Um, was it you? Trade Pokemon, I'll trade you Ghastly. Say, who wanted the bug type? Was it the girl? Was it for the Elekid? I thought that she was Durant or Heatmore. And she wasn't in here. Can we, all right, there we go. Um, Cause we might as well do that trade. There's no reason not doing it. Um. I'll have to see, is she up here? She is, in fact, up here. Yes. All right. Elekid for any Bug-type Pokemon. Now, do I want to do this trade? I mean, we might as well. I'm pretty sure this is actually the only way to get Elekid in the game. And they are, they're actually giving you a pretty decent Pokemon uh, quite early in the game. Now, obviously, they've given us two already. And we're giving, giving a third. And to be honest, you could get five. Because um, you could get the Ghastly and um the other thing but let's go ahead quick take a look at thunderbolt all right ace trainer mimi um let's see here though quick attack okay um sure we can add it to the squad for now we might as well uh but i don't know we might not have it on the squad for too long who knows, but we are actually going to go ahead and end off today's episode right here. So if you guys enjoy today's episode of Pokemon Insurgents, make sure to mock punch that like button and of course subscribe if you guys have not. You don't want to miss out on this series because it's going to be fun. Of course, you don't want to also miss out on the Overwatch VODs that are going up on the channel. Uh, make sure to check out my Twitch channel because that is where I am doing a lot of my content now. But with that, you guys, I'm going to get up out. This is Caterade5 signing out. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have yourselves a good day.